Hey, Tara Cherie here with you. It's so good to be here with you today. And if you are joining us for the first time, I just want to say welcome. It is so good to be here with you. If you have joined in on our Facebook Lives weekly, welcome. Welcome back. And uh, I just want to remind you that we do meet usually every Tuesday and Thursday between 12.50 p.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely make sure that you join so you don't miss out on the action. And today's topic actually came from a series of messages, downloads, I call them, that I received from the Lord as well as from my mentor when we were having our own coaching conversation. I have some goals to hit this year I and last year as well that are going into this year and I hired a mentor and a coach to be able to do that because I totally, totally, totally believe in that and it totally works. And you always need somebody to hold you accountable to your goals, it's super important, especially when you're building business. At any rate, we were talking about faith and that is what I'm going to cover on today's call or on today's Facebook Live. And, you know, um, many of you have heard, if you only had faith of a mustard seed, or maybe even more familiar is the scripture based off of Hebrews 11, 1, that talks about faith as the evidence of things hoped for is the basis of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not yet seen. Okay, so I got my words twisted there for just a second. Okay, and that goes for so many people. Because here's what the Lord showed me was a couple of things. There's some things that I'm not going to necessarily cover here on this Facebook Live, but I do want to break down a few simple things here. And I'm going to go back to... Um, sowing the seed and tilling the land. But where I really want to start with is the mustard seed. How many of you have heard that the Lord plants seeds inside of you and that a dream and a vision, all that it does is it starts with a simple seed. Okay, this is so true. Now, I'm a mother with small children, and the Lord had shown me a baby, okay? And how when the baby's born, it doesn't necessarily fit into its clothing. It's kind of the same thing with a seed that is being nurtured inside of you. It is a gift and a blessing and an opportunity at times that the Lord gives us, but we must do something with that seed. Well, what's naturally the next step? The next step would actually be even before you plant the seed to step back. And if you're looking at anything business related, you're looking at joining a business, you're looking at growing your business, maybe you become kind of stagnant in your business, there's a reason for this. And the reason is that sometimes when we need to step back, it's because we need to gain more strategy, further strategy. Um, sometimes it's because we become frustrated. Listen guys, anytime that you become frustrated with anything, it's because you need to step back and evaluate your relationship with the Lord. I know that sounds interesting. Yes, I'm bringing the Lord into this because I believe that he has everything to do with whether or not your business is flourishing or not. But it also has to do with you because you're in a relationship. Well, what is business about? It's about relationship. Okay? But if you don't have faith and belief in who you are, where you're going, and what he has called you to do, no matter how much you try to build relationships, it's not going to happen for you the way that you would like for it to. And there's a reason for that. Sometimes we gotta pull back 
And it's not just about checking our heart. I know I've talked about that in the past. It's also about how we connect with the Lord. Are we intentional? Do we start with him as our foundation daily? Because if you think about it, if he planted that desire in your heart, that means it's already there. It's already inside of you. But you must be looking for a way to pull that out and a way to manifest God's blessings for your life. You play a part in it too. Okay. Well, I'm not so sure about that thing. I don't know. I'm not a salesperson. I'm sure some of you have talked to people who have said that. It has nothing to do with the fact that they can't sell people. It has everything to do with the fact that they don't believe in themselves and they don't have faith in what they could accomplish. So some people get in their own head. They never take a chance. They never take a risk. They never go after what's in their heart to do because they're so stuck on the fact that they're not a salesperson, but really it has something to do with that. It has to deal with belief, whether or not that they have faith that they could do something and see it manifested into existence. Because the truth is it's already there, but it's a matter of bringing that thing out. Okay. But if you are not intentional about your connection with the Lord and spending time with the Lord, how do you expect to grow in relationship? How do you expect to connect with other people? You can't grow deeply until you make a connection. Okay? And it all starts with conception. The time that that desire is planted in you, that's the conception of your dream, your blessing, your opportunity, and the process of seeing that manifest. Okay? But it's time to do something with it. So you have to pray it out and walk with him. Become intentional about making him your priority and your focus because he wants to give you downloads. He desires to give you strategies. He desires to give you tools that are going to build your faith. Have you ever seen successful people making tons of money? Have you ever seen successful people giving back to charities? Have you seen successful people that maybe have lost a lot of weight or have rocking marriages or relationships with their kids? You want to know why that is? Because that's where their faith is. Wherever their fruit is, that's where their faith is. So don't ever judge a person that you see that's more successful. It's only because the fruit is the evidence of where their faith is. Okay, I want you to get that. The fruit is the evidence of where their faith is. Okay, and just because you don't have some exceptional results or maybe you haven't quite gotten your start yet, doesn't mean it's not there, but you, like the baby that grows into its clothing, you have to grow into those results. You have to grow in what your dream and what your vision is. You have to grow into it. But you have to be intentional about growing your faith. When you become intentional about growing your faith, when you become intentional about making time for the Lord, when you get intentional about your connections, it's a deeper level of servitude. And there's a change that happens that is a process that takes place when you become intentional about what it is that you're called to do. Are you intentional about your faith? If you become stagnant, what have you done to change and grow? so that you can become that thing that you want started. How many of you have unfinished projects that you haven't finished? Or have things and dreams that are here but have not yet been executed? It's all a matter of belief, your faith. Your faith becomes your belief. So you have to change the way that you think about things and the measure of your faith, even though it starts with a mustard seed, which is itty bitty teeny tiny, okay? You have to change and grow your faith so that it can then change and grow your belief in what it is that you're doing, 
which will then in turn continue to grow your faith and continue to grow your belief. And pretty soon you're seeing that thing come to pass that started here. Okay, but it's all about your relationship and your connection and how you grow that. So when you start to receive that nurturing and those words that you need in order to, to plant the seed, when, when the Lord begins speaking to you, when he begins giving you strategies, and it could just be a sweet, simple uh, whisper. It could be, maybe it's a whole download. Uh, maybe he's like very chatty and giving you all kinds of information. Maybe you're not sure how to hear from him, but you see uh, lots of confirmations or you get um, different ideas. And then somebody comes up to you and they tell you that thing that you were thinking about. That's a confirmation. That's a sign to move forward. I, I always pay attention to things that are in pairs of twos and threes. Okay? So that's how you actually start hearing from him. You have to, to submit to him, spend time with him, get in the word with him, start to get revelation. It's the living word. Start to get the truth inside of you. And that will spark your faith. That will cause the mustard seed to grow in you. And when it's time, you'll, believe me, you'll feel it. You'll feel that transition. You'll begin to feel that shift that you need to start to do something with that seed. Because you've been growing your connection. That seed is getting bigger. It now needs to be transferred. It's like a root, when you start it like a rooter, you have to take it. And then once it grows to a certain level, you then transfer it into a pot or you transfer it into the ground. When it begins to hit the soil, it immediately makes a connection. Why? The evidence of that is the roots that are growing in the root system. As soon as that plant hits the ground, it knows because they send messages to each other and by faith, it spreads its roots and it takes root meaning it takes hold. The roots root, they take a hold. And when they begin to take a hold, they begin to grow and to spread out. That's us beginning to expand. We're now starting to grow. We're now starting to shift. Our faith is now growing, right? Well, what do we need to do? We need to feed it. We need to feed our faith with the positives of, of life, whether that's plugging into a mentor, whether that's listening to something that's going to grow our faith, we have to keep finding ways to grow our faith. Whether we grab somebody to pray with them, whether we spend time connecting with the Lord, like whatever those things look like. Okay, we have to keep practicing them. We have to keep doing them. We need to be consistent and intentional about our connection. Just like the plant becomes intentional about connecting with the soil and growing its root system. It's intentional and it's feeding its faith into existence that it's going to grow and it's going to grow now. Okay? When we begin to make connections, how many of you are like, gosh, you know, I'm starting to make these connections. I just got started and or I'm moving forward, but I feel like my connections... They're not deep enough. I, I'm not, I'm not hearing um, what it is that you know I need to process with them or grow with them on. Okay, you have to be more intentional about your connection with a person than you do about the reason for your connection. If you're not growing and intentional in your connection with the Lord, you can't be intentional and have a connection that's deeper with other people because they don't do business with the opportunity necessarily or even with the product. They do it because they feel led. They have a deeper connection to you. They trust you. And you're the vessel that leads them. You come into agreement, you come into alignment because you come into agreement and you come into alignment with God's truth. 
because your belief is that your business, your company, it works, that your product, it works, that you're meant to be successful, it works, you are successful. But you have to start believing that you're a success. You have to start believing that you're a vessel that's called to help people. You have to start believing that if you pick up the phone and call, or you begin messaging people, you begin becoming more intentional about your connection, that it's going to happen. And that you're gonna help those people to help people and so on and so forth, and that it's gonna grow. That this thing is gonna really take off. And then, so what happens to the plant when you haven't seen the result yet? Okay, you've made some connections now. You started really stretching those roots. This is where your faith has got to grow. You've got to make a connection and keep these things in the forefront. Okay? Now is not the time to stomp on your sprouts and say it doesn't work or it doesn't work for me or I failed. No, you didn't give it long enough. You got to be willing to first give it a shot and then B, you got to be willing to wait long enough because results don't always happen right away. You got to tend to the field even when you don't feel like it. Listen, sometimes growing is fun, but sometimes it's painful. It comes in shifts and seasons. And if you're like, well, I had a harvest, but I haven't had a harvest in a little bit. Well, guess what? You can't keep harvesting. In order to continue to harvest, you got to plant more seed. Right? So you got to be willing to go back and continue planting seeds, no matter what the seeds look like. Some will take, some will not. But by faith, you're going to plant the seeds knowing that what? Something is going to eventually sprout. And that's why when you look at your garden or if you've looked at a field, you see different sprouts at different lengths. That's the measure of your faith in business, you know? Oh, I made a connection. I got him to a presentation. Okay. Oh, I think they're going to do it. Oh, uh oh, okay, they didn't, they didn't do it. I'm just no good at this. No, stop that. If you're doing that, quit. Or, oh, I don't know why. Ugh, they just canceled, so I guess I can't do my business anymore. Or, oh, I'm just going to quit because I'm not seeing the results quick enough. What growing teaches us is a level of patience and tenacity. And these are areas that we're growing in. This is a beautiful period, you guys, because you're, you're learning. You're growing. This is the time where you begin learning lessons and takeaways. This is called strategy. You're learning what works and what doesn't work. You have to begin to have faith to trust what? The process. Because you're not going to always know. And sometimes... It's gonna look like nothing for a minute. And then you're gonna see a sprout, and then one's gonna die, and then another one's gonna pop out, then one's gonna really shoot out. And it could be the difference of, oh, yes, somebody just wanted to get that product because they saw my testimony. And then, you know, and then it may be nothing. And then it's, oh my gosh, yes, I just got somebody started in business. I wanna go for two more. Uh, crap. That third and fourth person, they just bought product from me. Shoot, no, stop that too. You gotta keep growing this. Keep growing this. Keep growing your listening. Keep listening. Keep listening. Wrap yourself around the truth. This is destined to work. People's lives do need to be changed. How many people do you know that are frustrated with their situations. They're frustrated about their life. Remember, you were once there. You were once there. Remember, you had situation and circumstances just like them. Do not judge them that they are not interested, that they don't want to do this business, that they don't want to listen to you. 
That's not true either. That's a lie. Okay, the truth is there are plenty of people that were that are just like where you once were. Rem you, remember, you were frustrated that you weren't making enough money or that you didn't have enough time or that you just wish that you could reach some goals and you need the money to be able to do it or that you didn't like your job anymore and you wanted out, that you wanted to be at home more with the kids and you were frustrated. Okay? Don't you think some of these people are frustrated too? They're looking for change. They're looking for you to reach out to them. They don't know what you haven't shared with them. Okay, just like you didn't know. You may have seen a couple of businesses out there, but you didn't know. You didn't know until somebody came and showed you the way. It's the same for them. They need to be shown a way. By faith, you have to reach out to the phone and grab it. You have to reach out to the computer and grab it. You have to open your mouth and to begin to speak into their life and be intentional. Don't be like acting like, you know, you care about them, but really you're just reaching out to them because you want to help them get started on your product. No matter how passionate and how much belief you have, really take the time to connect with them. Show them that you value them, that you honor them. And sometimes it doesn't go anywhere right away. It may take a few connections or over time. It may take some time to make a meaningful connection. But when they warm up to you and you pray about it and the opportunity is right, that's when you can begin planting the same seed that was in you and them. And that's where you start making that deeper connection. And you make that connection, it begins growing. And then rather than just having people start on your product, they begin starting your company because they feel like they can relate to you. They have frustrations. They know you were frustrated. You have something in common. They want to change their situation. You changed your situation. They want to change your situation. They saw your results. You guys, the process of faith is because it's meant to be your testimony of what you are overcoming. Do you know how much effort it takes for that plant to sprout and to grow and to prosper through that soil? It literally has to push its way out. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. It has to grow and push its way up through the soil. It has to make its own way. You have to make a way. Okay, but the Lord has to be, has, you have to allow the Lord, in other words, to grow you enough to push through your barriers, the things in your life that you need overcoming, maybe the wrong thought patterns, maybe you weren't taught how to succeed, maybe you weren't taught to thrive, maybe you were taught to live in your situation and to survive your circumstance, okay, maybe you're just surviving to survive. And you don't know any other way. So you needed somebody courageous enough that had faith enough to show you the way out. Okay? That there was another way other than frustration and sadness and being mad and being down. That there could be peace for them. That there could be joy. That they were meant to live a life of abundance. Some people aren't taught those things. So you're called to speak life into them to teach them those things. That's what a servant leader does. They show them the way, okay? They give them the tools to succeed. And it's not that they didn't have the tools or the capability. They just needed to be shown. How do we use these tools? How do we grow? How do we blossom? And that's what you're there for, okay? And then as, as the plant continues to sprout, it begins to grow and it begins to blossom. But, but it's over consistency and over a period of time you have to nurture these things in order for them to develop okay and then they begin a season of maturation meaning maturity okay you don't pick a flowers you don't pick fruit from the tree before the time of the fields okay that's actually scriptural okay you pick the fruit when it's ready how do you know it's ready it begins to ripen. It begins to uh, get to the point that it may fall off the tree. Some fruit, when it's ripe, it falls off the tree. 
some flowers when they're ready they're in complete full bloom sometimes you pick them maybe just slightly like right before so that they can open up in your home right or you gift them to somebody and they open up and they're gorgeous they're beautiful okay you're that same way you were created to be beautiful you were created uniquely you were created to bring change you were created to overcome any circumstance or any situation that you were ever in, that you ever faced. It's funny because some of the people that have the most darkest situations, that have the most difficult times, they're the ones that succeed the most. Why? Because they're determined to grow their faith. They're determined to be present, to be in the moment. You have to be in the moment just like the plant is. It concentrates and focuses on its connection. It focuses and concentrates on its faith in growing. And then what happens when it does fully come into a place of maturity, it's ready to be picked or better yet, maybe the seeds from that flower or from that fruit, they're meant to germinate and they're meant to travel. This is a time of expansion. It's also because it means that you're meant to not only make those connections, but you're meant to expand nationally, globally. You are meant to come into alignment with something bigger than yourself. When these changes take place, they are beautiful. But a flower doesn't start as a blooming flower. A fruit doesn't start as a ripened fruit. It starts with a seed that cultivates over time. It goes through a refining process where it grows and it matures and it becomes that thing that it was destined and called to be. If you are consistent, if you allow yourself to be matured, if you allow yourself to start, don't fear a new beginning. Allow yourself to embrace something different. Even if you do not know what it's going to look like, okay, speak those things as though they are, okay? Take those things. Why do you think, let me ask you this, why do you think the enemy wants to try so hard to derail your thoughts and get you so busy that you can't rest in the Lord? It is because he does not want to see you prosper and grow into a place of maturity that you can then bless other people. Okay, because you are meant to minister and disciple to other people. You are meant to help people get their paths and their lives back on track, some of you. You are meant to make a global difference. We talked the other day, a business is a means to fund other things. It's a vehicle. But if you don't get started and you don't get that start because you can't get past yourself and your own doubt and disbelief, you'll never hit the mark where you're impacting people the way that you're truly meant to and helping those lives get back on track and helping those people to create and make a difference. But you're the same person that prayed and prayed and begged and begged for a way out of your situation. I believe many of you are being called to rise up. You are being called to increase your faith. You are being called to make a difference. And now is the time to grow your faith. In order to grow a business, you have to grow your faith in order to grow. You have to grow your faith in order to grow. If you're feeling stuck, congratulations. It's because he chose you to go to the next level, to grow your faith, to grow in ways that are, it's like tweaking, you know? You're, you're tilling the land, you're hopeful for a crop, you get some of that crop, but maybe it's not as much as you wanted. Guess what? You have another chance to take off again. You have another chance to grow. 
and to develop and to cultivate something so much bigger than yourself because that seed that's now germinating because the, the time that it took, that you took to cultivate the land and grow it, it's now germinating and leaving a legacy for others to follow. All because you took a step and you decided that you were going to go through the growing process. You decided to mature. You decided to take things to the next level. And look what happened. You prospered where you were what? Planted. You took a seed that was in you, you plant, decided to plant it, and you allowed it to prosper. You guys, don't give up on your dreams and quit before you even got started. Don't say that you can't do this. Don't prejudge other people. That's a low level of leadership. You are called to make more deeper, meaningful connections. Whether that's on a part-time or a full-time basis, that's between you and the Lord. I can't answer that for you. But what I can share is this. You will never know if you don't take a risk. You never know what you are capable of. Because you can either believe or you can disbelieve but you can't do both at the same time. It's not possible. You can't grow your faith and grow your disbelief at the same time. You either have faith in the process and the journey of this life that you're going to get there or that you're not. But if you're willing to grow your faith, if you're willing to take a step out no matter how uncomfortable it is. It cannot be comfortable for that plant to grow in the soil. It cannot be comfortable. But it is a good thing when it happens. It is a beautiful thing. When it shoots up out of the soil, it is already in the middle of its transformation process. It's growing, it's developing, so it can become something more. Isn't it your time to become something more so you can help others? Isn't it time for you to grow to that next level so that you can help a whole other generation of people? Isn't it time for you to rise up in your faith and to grow in a way that is a blessing to the people that you're meant to be intentionally connecting with? Isn't it a blessing that you can come into an alignment, into agreement, and change somebody's life? What if they could come back and they could tell you, Hey, because you share this opportunity with me, I've paid $30,000 off of my debt and I'm now debt free. What if they came to you and told you, hey, because of that thing that you shared with me, I've now lost 60 pounds and I no longer have pain in my knees and now I can, I can run. I just ran my first 5K. Thank you so much for sharing this opportunity with me. It doesn't matter what your business is. Okay, I'm just giving you some examples. But wouldn't it be wonderful if you heard, hey, thanks to sharing this with me, I now paid off all my student loan debt. I was able to take a cruise with my family for the very first time. I was able to take care of my mom while she was dying and I was able to be there with her because this opportunity was the vehicle that financially funded me while I took that time around her to take care of her. What a blessing. Family is priceless. Having more time is pri priceless. Having an opportunity to fund missions, priceless. Having the opportunity to change people's lives, priceless. So what are you waiting on? What is truly holding you back? Are you going to choose to believe or not believe? Are you going to choose to grow your faith or not grow your faith? That is totally up to you. But if you're the type of person who's truly serious about making those changes, that's truly serious about stepping out in their own faith, we don't even have to be a part of the same company. Okay? However, I want to help you out. So here's what I'm going to do. If you are truly teachable, you are truly coachable, you're truly looking for results, or even if you're curious 
but you're serious. You're truly serious about getting more information because you are tired of being tired. You are tired of being stuck in your situation. You are tired of being a victim to your circumstance. And you are saying today that enough is enough, that I'm not going around that same mountain anymore, that this is the day that I need to step out. I need to make that change no matter how uncomfortable it is. I am going to step off that ledge and today I'm going to take that risk. You are exactly who I want to talk with. So I'm going to leave my information in the comment section. I want you to reach out to me if you are a friend of mine. Even if we don't know each other, I do check my others folder on social media. Please, 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 please reach out to me. I would love to connect with you and help you to be able to grow your faith and to take you to that next level. And I want to do it with you. I don't want to do it alone. It's not good enough to do it alone. We are meant to do this life and we are meant to do it together. I totally believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself. And that is okay because there was a time that I did not believe in myself either. I did not believe in myself. It took the faith and belief of somebody else who was willing to speak life into me enough that I took and made that change myself. And now I'm wanting to speak into you and to help you grow and to make those changes. So please connect with me. I would love to help you out. Make sure that you fill out that application so that we can connect personally. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to connecting with you here again on Facebook Live, Tuesday between 12.50 p.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye for now.